Hi everyone. Welcome to the course Manufacturing Processes 1. Let's talk about unit number 5, Sheet Metal Working. In this video, we will talk about punch and die design analysis in short. Basically, we will be talking about undergraduate level engineering analysis of sheet metal working processes. We know cutting of sheet metal is accomplished by shearing action between two sharp edges. In an ideal cutting operation, punch penetrates the material to a depth of cut about to a depth about one third of its thickness before the fracture occurs and forces an equal portion of material into die opening. This diagram depicts this phenomenon in stages. If we look at, it, at stage number one, it shows the situation just before the punch contacts the workpiece, which is in blue color held on the die. Second diagram shows punch slightly pushes into the work causing plastic deformation. In third stage we can see that the punch which is penetrating the workpiece and causing a smooth cut surface at the velocity of V and force F. And in fourth stage, we can see a fracture is being initiated at opposing cutting edges to separate this sheet. Herein, you can pay attention to the thickness of the workpiece being sheared and the gap between the punch surface and the die surface. Punch and die surfaces never create friction surfaces against each other. There is always some amount of gap and we note it with C. How much amount of this gap known as clearance is provided and what is it basically? Clearance is basically the space between matting members that is punch and die of a die set. For optimum finish of cut edge proper clearance is necessary which is a function of type of material, thickness of material and hardness of the work material. How do we calculate clearance? We calculate clearance as a product of allowance multiplied by stock thickness. Allowance we can note it with A, stock thickness we can denote it with T, small t. Normally the allowance used to be 0 0.075 for steels and 0 0.06 for alloys. We can call it as 6% to 7.5% of the thickness of the material. Hopefully this would have given you the idea of how much amount of clearance has to be there based on thickness of the material for clearance purpose. Most of the die clearances are linear which are usually between in the range of 2 to 5 percent of the material thickness. And sometimes angular clearance is also given to when we want to create a hole or to a hole in a die such that material will be easily removed. Well, now the question arises what if I don't provide enough amount of clearance? insufficient clearance causes excessive forces to be acted on the workpieces which causes improper fracture while, ex while excessive clearance may cause oversized bars shown in the second figure here you can see that insufficient clearance may cause improper fracture here excessive amount of clearance more than required amount of clearance causes oversized bars coming out of the workplace. As far as design of dies and punch are concerned, 
to cal the calculated clearance must be subtracted from the blanking die diameter for blanking operations whereas it must be added to the punching die diameter for punching operations let's take an example here assuming blanking die diameter or blank diameter is dp where in that case blanking punch diameter has to be blanking die diameter dp minus twice the clearance from one side and the other side that's why we consider clearance twice while designing dies and punches for punching operation the basic criteria is we need to consider hole or punch diameter which is nothing but let's say we assume it as dh hole diameter or punch diameter and the die diameter has to be added with twice the clearance that is hole diameter plus or punch diameter plus 2c we can summarize it in this way in case of blanking operations blank diameter is considered and the twice the clearance is subtracted from it to design a punch diameter whereas in case of case of punching operation hole diameter or punch diameter is considered as a basic and twice the clearance is added to that to decide the die diameter all right this was about the engineering analysis of sheet metal working processes thanks for watching this video hopefully this will be useful for you in the examination see you again